I am so excited today to be able to play with some of this gorgeous paper from Whimsy, Whimsy Stamps along with a fun sentiment stamp set from them and Kendra's Card Challenge 15 to make some beautiful cards. Hey, it's Beth, welcome. This is the Kindred's Card Challenge 15 Whimsy Stamps Hop. So there are several of the Kindred's Card Challenge design team members who are gonna be playing with Whimsy Stamp products today. I have this gorgeous pad. It's a six by six pad, it's Country Farm, and it has just gorgeous, barn scene views. I'm a chicken lover. We have chickens, so I wish I had cows. But I mean, just the details and the scenes are just amazing. So I am excited to be able to play with this. Um, kind of do a quick flip through of some of the rest of the scenes here in this pad. So I'm going to be using one of the scenes. And then I also have the Buku Bokeh Sentiment stamp set. I loved all of the sentiments on here. I feel like they're just kind of great general sentiments. I donate a lot of my cards, and so I feel like these are like perfect sentiments for that. Like smell the flowers, feel the sun, let your spirit fly, happiness stems from kindness, wishing you a day filled with beautiful things. You're just the sweetest thing ever. Your smile is like sunshine on a cloudy day. So. Those are some of the sentiments on here. And I went through all of the sketches from KCC 15 and I feel like sketch number three was the best one to use for the scenes because I am going to use an oval die to get an oval shape here because I feel like that is going to highlight the barn the best. And before I forget, there will be a playlist in the description box below for you to click on to um, watch all the other participants in this hop. And I have picked this scene that I'm going to do my oval on and I just need to figure out the rest of the card and we will get one put together. So I'm going to do the sketch a little bit differently. I'm going to use the oval element that the sketch does call for but then um, and here I'm just trying to figure out the the placement one so that I can get the full barn but then two I would like to do the instead of doing two triangles that the sketch calls for and then the strip in the middle just being like the mat or the card base that's underneath it. I actually want to do the scene, the rest of the scene from the barn behind the barn oval. So I want it to look like it's just kind of silhouetted and, you know, framed out uh, on the rest of that scene. So I contemplated actually switching to a different scene and then realized what I can do is just use two sheets because the problem is I couldn't get the oval centered well enough so that it would that the hole would be covered by my oval and my matting so yeah I kind of experimented with that here as I went but I pulled in some red barn paper this is some old um, scrapping for less it's an old scrapping for less pad and I liked the red barn I thought it kind of highlighted the red or the red barn wood Thought it highlighted the barn in the seam so I've cut my ovals out. I also cut some white cardstock to be a mat for my barn oval there. And if you haven't heard of Kendra's Card Challenge challenges yet, she gives you cutting guides and uh, templates to take six sheets of six by six paper and turn them into 15 cards. So she gives you cutting guides for the six sheets and then 15 different card sketches to use the pieces that you cut. But she also gives you the individual measurements on each card sketch so that you could just make one card at a time if you wanted, which is what I'm doing here. And then, like I said, I'm kind of changing it up just a little bit to make it work with my scene. So there'll be information for Kendra's card challenge and how to get the printable down in the description box below, as well as that playlist so you can see what all the other team participants 
team members are using, I think we're all going to be using different um, Whimsy stamp products today. And then also in the description box, there's a link for a giveaway. So if you click that link and you fill out the form after you've watched my video, you can hop along, watch the other participants' videos, and then fill out their forms as well for chances to win prize from Cards by Kendra. So my Barnwood pattern strip there wasn't going to be long enough to go all the way across the card, so I just cut it in half. You're not going to see it behind my oval just so that I could make that stretch across. And here I'm just trimming up the ends. So now that I've got my oval and my scene all figured out, um, I'm going to switch to working on my sentiment. And I wanted to use the sentiment, wishing you a day filled with beautiful things. Uh, I thought that was just perfect for the scene. So I was just kind of trying to figure out placement there for a second and then just decided to pull the stamp out and see uh, which corner I might want to put the stamp on. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it out on to some white cardstock after I fiddle a bit more here. And because the stamp is new, it's not been used before, so I'm going to put it on my stamping block and then kind of use the oil from my hand a little bit to kind of you know, break it in, get rid of some of that stickiness so that the ink can stick. And then I'm going to stamp it twice just to make sure it's stamping good. And I could see that there was a spot I had missed with the ink. And it actually looks really good that first time, but again, just in case, I'm going to stamp it a second time. And then I will go over and die cut the sentiment into an oval. So trying to figure out the placement, but now I think that I love that sentiment, but it's a little bit too big and it covers up too much of my scene. So I thought, well, what if I stamp it on the inside of the card. And it's like, well, first let's see, <laughs> here I'm talking to myself, like I do like it, but what I might actually do is die cut an oval out of some of that red barnwood paper I had left, just so that it helps the sentiment stand out and gives a little bit of color on the inside of the card. So that's where I ended up. And so the front of the card will just be blank. It'll just be showing you that beautiful scene and then the sentiment will be on the inside. I just, I didn't want anything taking away from my scene. I wanted to pop up my oval just a little bit, like not a ton, but just enough to give it, I don't know, to highlight it more, make it stand out a little bit more. So I pulled out some scrap card stock that I have uh, by my desk and I'm just going to layer it up a little bit to give just a little bit of dimension and create a little bit more of a shadow there. Realize I should probably go ahead and get my card mat on my card base before I start adding dimension. And I did cut my card mat to be just over four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, and I'm trying to get it lined up here. And this must be one of those card bases that I cut my card bases myself. And so sometimes there's one card base that's just a little bit over. Uh, five and a half inches because when even when, when I'm cutting them in half like one's just a little bit larger than the other one So I went off camera and trimmed off the extra white showing from the card base Now I will add my little layering pieces back here and can get my oval adhered to my card And I know like this card seems kind of simplistic, but I just feel like the paper is the star. It is beautiful paper and I love it and I didn't really want to take anything away from that. So I decided I did want to add a little bit more embellishment but again I don't want anything to take away from it so I found some clear embellishments in my stash. I have some like clear dots there, enamel dots, and I thought those were going to be too much. So I had also pulled out some clear sequins and I like how those are less noticeable but you just see a little bit of shine. So that's what I'm going to go with, but I'm going to fiddle with the placement first because I cannot just put sequence down 
and leave them be. Is anybody else like that? I know, I feel like there are a lot of people that know exactly where they they need to put their embellishments and that's where they stay. I am a fiddler. I must move them around. These sequins have been in my stash for a long time, so I'm not even sure who they're from anymore, but I will have links below in the description box for you of the Whimsy stamp products I've used, so please be sure to check out Whimsy Stamps and all of their other fabulous products that they have. Again, in that description box is a lot of important information, the playlist, so you can see all of the other team members and the beautiful projects they're making today, how to get the cards by Kendra, printable for KCC 15, and the giveaway form. Be sure to check all that out. Here's the final look at my card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I thank you so much for your time, and I hope you all have a very crafty day.